a similar feat. Uh, Bristol de May heads them up for Daryl Jacob. Number two cue card now reunited or united for the first time with Harry Cobden. They had a spin the other day with Wynn Canton, so reunited in that sense. Looking for his 10th group one or grade one. Three is Outlander for Jack Kennedy. Four Sean Two Flyer Adam Wedge. Five T for two for Lizzie Kelly. That'd be a great story. And six traffic fluid for Josh Moore. Heavy ground, move back a furlong and a half. Stamina will be needed. Quality is always needed to win the Betfair Chase, the first grade one in this country of the new jump season. So we come to the rest of the Mayan Outlander are going to be going up the front. And as we said earlier, you two would ride, want to ride in the race? I'd ride Q card. I think okay. he's the guaranteed grade one. I'd ride Q card as well. Two votes for Q card. We're set for the 2017 Betfair Chase in the company of big race commentator Richard Hoyles. Flag is raised, the first grade one of the season registers the Lancashire Chase, known throughout its career as the Betfair Chase, and the field are sent on their way, passing through this new starting area. Bristol de May it is who leads them towards the first of what is now 19 obstacles to take and they all measure the first perfectly okay. Second for Outlander, Q card in third, fourth place for T for two, restrained in the orange colours on the outside of traffic fluid and last of the six runners is Sean Two Flyer. They make their way past the winning line and they're just now passing the old start at around about 26 seconds from when they left the new start so that's the extra time that they will be out on the race course this afternoon. Turning away from the stands. Outlander in second, just an even pace. Q card in third place in the noseband, blue and pink colours. T for two is in fourth, then traffic fluid. And last of the six is Sean at two flyer. So now they turn into the back straight. Five fences await them down there. And Bristol de May, unbeaten here at Haydock, leads Outlander and Q card towards the first of the obstacles in the back straight. T for two in fourth, traffic fluid, and Sean two flyer. Big leap by the leader, big leap by all of them. And they're all to the other side safely. Now the plain one comes up relatively quickly, and Bristol de May is galloping on, making this a, a reasonable test. Outlander in second, cue card in third place, as the leader just had to shorten up slightly, quite seeing it on a perfect stride. Fourth for T for two, back to traffic fluid, and Sean two flyer. So now they head towards the first defences after the little kink in the back straight. Bristol de May is over. Sean Two Flyer landing a little bit steeply, but they're all jumping securely enough at the moment. Bristol de May having been exuberant over the first of them down the back. More circumspect. Now Jacob asks him and really flies that one. Cucard more economical, but he's perfectly okay. Sean Two Flyer remains the back marker. So heading towards the first of the open ditches. Next two out of three fences of the ditches and Bristol de May it's been a bit hit and miss and it was Outlander's turn to miss in fact in second place joined by Cucard after making a slight error he's been seen a long stride Bristol de May has come up really well but he hasn't met all those fences perfectly down the back Cucard's got into a reasonable rhythm Outlander missed out the last how do you assess the early stages of the Betfair chase Jets? Be enough of what I've seen, Richard. I think Q card. You can just see with Harry Cobden, it was important to get those first few fences under his belt. He's now got him to where he wants him, chap. Yeah, he's probably jumped the best of the, the leaders so far, and um, hopefully, continue to do so. so Bristol de May leads them up the home straight, the plain one. Card on the inside of Outlander. T for two, a bit scruffy then, was just shaken up on landing by Lizzie Kelly. Fourth place, about four lengths away, traffic fluid and towards the outside, Sean Two Flyer. So this is another open ditch. Bristol May will lead them towards it. And comes in and takes it. Bristol May over. In second place, disputed by Q Card in the blue colours with the noseband. Stride just a little lower in the saddle for a moment or two. Outlander, T for two's bridged the gap. It was four lengths on Outlander a moment or two ago. Close that right down. Bristol May is over. Outlander in second. Cucard in third. Fourth place for T for two. At the moment, the outsiders traffic fluid and Sean Two Flyer continuing to hold down the last two places. So a circuit under their belts, approaching the halfway stage in the Betfair chase. Bristol de May saw a good stride there. Second for Outlander. Cucard, Harry Copton's just bumped along for a stride or two. That's the second time he's got a little bit lower in the saddle. He's still well in touch, but just lacked a bit of fluency over the last couple. And again, he's just pushed along. Harry's doing to have to work to hold that inside running rail. And he's going to have to cede it, I think, to Outlander. He may just cut across in front of him. Fourth for T for two. And just slightly anxious signs for Cucard at this part of the race. You can see his rider bumping along in the saddle. As out on the final circuit they go. Bristol de May leading. 
cue card back up on the inside of Outlander, and all of them are much closer now. T for two, Sean two flyer on the outside, traffic fluid the other one. This rider just pulls down one of the sets of goggles to be pushed along on the inner. So into the back straight we go. Bristol de May out in front, cue card in second, Outlander's turn just to be pushed along. So with the exception of the leader, most of them at some stage have hit flat spots of varying degrees. T for two back in fourth place. Cue card just had to be shortened up there. Harry Cobden did well, didn't see a perfect stride. The horse was clever. Out in front, Bristol de May just beginning to try and turn the screw again. Outlander in second, cue card third, then T for two. Bristol de May is over the next. Outlander, cue card just landing a bit steeply. Sean Two Flyers beginning to struggle. Traffic Fluid is ridden again. Cue card just having to be shaken up to go in pursuit of the front pair. Heading towards the seventh last. Bristol de May is over. Outlander in second. Cue card third. T for two in fourth place. Mistake by Sean Two Flyer, who's beginning to lose touch. Traffic Fluid is getting left behind as well as the big four move then towards the plain fence. An ultimate one in the back straight, still being led by Bristol de May, who continues to show the way. The gap is about four lengths or so from Outlander and Cue Card as they head towards the open ditch. Bristol de May out in front. Takes it over by about four lengths from Cue Card in second. Outlander in third. T for two. Goes past Outlander. Bristol de May has got them on the stretch here. The gap is seven or eight lengths. Cue Card valiantly trying to muster another effort in second. T for two's in third. Outlander's under pressure and labouring. They're going to have to work to reel in. Bristol de May, who leads on the home turn with the others at the moment, floundering. T for two moving up on the outside of Cue Card, but we still have four fences to take here in the Betfair chase. And Bristol de May turns for home with a wide margin lead. Q card and T for two disputing second place as they head down towards the first up the home straight. Bristol de May out in front is over. Q card in second giving valiant pursuit. Then T for two outlander who's very weary in fourth place. They're all very weary. Bar the grey Bristol de May who heads down towards the third last with a major advantage here. Bristol de May pops over three from the finish. Q card and T for two tired horses in second and third places but still Bristol de May gallops on and the margin is getting greater and greater two from the finish Bristol de May Daryl Jake puts in a short stride but he's on the other side safely the crowd gasp T for two's weary back in third place Q card then outlander and traffic fluey down towards the last and Bristol de May has run them ragged the others are absolutely walking this is the final obstacle, and he is perfect over it. Bristol de May, at 30 lengths clear, T for two and Q card labouring. They haven't even reached the final obstacle yet, and Bristol de May is already well up the running. T for two makes a bad mistake, Q card's back in second place, but salute Bristol de May, who won the Betfair chase by a wide margin for Daryl Jacob, Nigel Twiston Davis, and Simon Munir. Q card valiant in defeat, but what a wide margin defeat it is. One of the biggest winning margins, I would have said, in grade one history in this country. Q card in second, in third, Outlander, T for two, and Traffic Fluid. Those four horses all contrived to produce a good finish. The only problem for them was Br Bristol de May was nearly in the unsaddling enclosure. What a performance. Away from you. A demolition.